Hello and welcome to the Counterpunch Express video training series. Congratulations for making a great choice investing in the CPX. And an even bigger congratulations is in order for investing in yourself and your trading education. You're about to embark upon a whole new way of trading. And you're about to learn a very effective strategy, but also a way of trading that incorporates so much more than just dots on a chart and trade setups. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or experienced trader, it's important to open your mind and clear your slate so that you can learn our approach from step one. Learn it correctly the first time. Sometimes it's good to be new because you don't have to unlearn old habits. So try to put yourself in a position of a blank slate, clear mind, and take these principles as I teach them one by one. Give yourself a chance to digest them, think about them, learn them, use them, practice with them, and you're going to end up loving the Counterpunch Express. A way of trading includes an entire philosophy and approach to your every trading decision each and every session. It incorporates a CPX strategy, of course, but also what we call quote-unquote best practices regarding money and risk management, trade plans, discipline, and overall professionalism. It's the difference between becoming the operator of a successful trade business, your trade business, versus just being someone trying to trade, which typically does not work for most people. Understanding the hows and whys a strategy works is something you will want to learn and continue to pay attention to. This will help you in getting through tough sessions. I hate to say it, but it's a pipe dream to believe that you can win 100% of the time. That just does not exist in the world we live in and it doesn't exist in trading. The good news is that we don't need to win every trade. The person trying to trade will always try to win all the time and ironically will end up losing. Successful trading is a numbers game like a casino that plays with the house odds. Casinos are businesses. We can learn from that example and realize that success comes from the account growing and gaining equity. The casino takes advantage of the edge that it has in the marketplace. It's that edge that makes the casino a successful, profitable business. That's what you should be focused on if you truly want to succeed as a trader. Focus on the big perspective the big picture, the edge that your trade plan, strategy, and complete way of trading gives you. The CPX puts the odds in your favor on every trade so long as you stick with the basic principles and trade within the spirit of the strategy and your trade plan rules. Operating your business, in other words, according to your trade business plan. By putting the odds in your favor, mitigating your risk exposure with proper position size, trading the best markets as they relate to your personal situation, and sticking to your trade plan, you will approach each session professionally and will be in the most advantageous position for success, which is far better off than 90 plus percent of the people out there merely trying to trade. It's time to make a commitment. It's time to join the 10% who do succeed. I want you to commit to stop being someone just trying to trade and instead commit to being the operator of your new trade business and the facilitator of your proven trade plan. It's a simple concept. It's easier said than done, but with practice, you can do it. There's a big difference and it can only happen if you commit to it. Commit to best practices each and every session and stick to your plan. Operate from a higher point of view like a CEO and you will put yourself in the best possible position for success. If you do this, you will become a real trader and you will rule the markets one knockout trade at a time with the Counterpunch Express. Your game plan should be as follows. Commit to becoming a real trader using best practices with every trade decision beginning with this game plan. Trading is very similar to life itself. Every decision you make in life is like a trade because there's always a consequence. If you do this instead of do that, you'll have a different consequence. If you turn left instead of turn right, whatever decision you make, there will be a consequence. You always want to make the best decisions. 
it's the same with trading. You have to commit to using best practices with every trade decision so that you can be the best trader that you can be and have the best chance for success. Commit to becoming a student of the Counterpunch Express. Commit to the Steps to Success Guide that you will find in the Counterpunch Express owner's website. Commit to following it. It will guide you to success. That's why it's called Steps to Success Guide. Go through all the CPX training materials as many times as necessary. This isn't a race. The markets will be there. Don't be in such a hurry to jump into the live markets with real money until you're ready. You can learn your lessons with your money safely parked on the sideline, or you can learn your lessons with your money in the market, which is a lot more expensive. Learn your lessons first. Take the time to start up your new trading business the right way with a strong foundation. Join and attend the live training room. Repetition will help you master the strategy, master yourself, and ultimately master the markets. Take advantage of this valuable learning tool. The success guide has a lot of steps, but one of the most important steps is learning how to backtest and then doing it. Backtest your chosen markets and trade plan. There will be some exploratory time that you will want to do. If you do not backtest your market and charts, you will not build the necessary foundation for success. It's like deciding to go on a trip, jumping in your car, and trying to reach your destination without a map, without a plan, without knowing which way the roads go, whether to turn left or whether to turn right. Don't do that to yourself. Give yourself the best chances for success. Make sure you backtest. We'll teach you how to do it. There's a lot of benefits to following the success guide and backtesting. One of the most important is belief. Because without belief, you have nothing. There's no way to talk yourself into it. You have to train your inner self, your trade psychology, into believing so that you can avoid the trappings of just being someone trying to trade. You will become a believer with your money safely on the sidelines while you see the equity grow in your backtest. That's going to train you psychologically to be able to trade your trade plan and to be able to grow equity in your account. Moreover, backtesting also gives you a level of repetition, which helps you learn the strategy and reinforce the method that you are using. You don't want to make mistakes in the live markets with real money. You can make those mistakes in a backtest. Ultimately, if you can build a foundation of belief, then you'll have the necessary confidence to take the next trade, which is paramount to succeeding. Learning the role that losing trades play within a winning trade plan is also critical. Like I said, hopefully you agree. It's not possible to win 100% of the time. As much as we wish we could do it, you cannot divorce losing trades from the winners. It's just not possible. The losing trades are part of a winning trade plan, if it's a good trade plan. Backtest correctly and watch how the equity curve grows despite the losing trades. Watch how the equity curve grows because of the losing trades. You have to take the proper trades to grow the equity. Most of the trades are going to win. Remember, it's the result of your trade business that makes money, not the individual trades. You will learn the importance of proper risk, proper position size, and following your rule set no matter what. But I'm going to tell you right here, when you finally start trading real money, you never want to use all the leverage that the broker gives you. Our general rule of thumb, and you know, it goes up and down a little bit, it's a general rule of thumb, is to try to risk 2% of your capital on any given trade. A little more sometimes, a little less sometimes, but generally you want to be in that 2% range. Because even the winningest strategies can have multiple losses in a row. And if you're over leveraged, you can wipe yourself out. You can have yourself a great strategy and end up wiping yourself out. Why? Because a great strategy still needs to be traded by a good trader or even a great trader. If you're a poor trader and you put on too much risk, it doesn't matter how good the strategy is. So it's very important and that's why we talk about this all the time. You're going to get this repetition in the trade room. But just look at the two words on the right of the title of this slide, best practices, and commit to it. You don't have to get rich on every trade. You get rich by growing your account. And as you go down the road, continuing with your business of trading, 
you'll be able to grow your position size as your account grows. Give your business the chance to get there. Don't wipe yourself out before you ever have a chance to grow that equity. As per the success guide, another critical step is striving to get 25 mistake-free consecutive trades in a SIM account. This could take you some time, but that's okay. You're training. You're training to join the battle. Trading is war. There's going to be a winner and a loser. You want to be on the winning side of those trades. So train. Train in the safety of a SIM account. When you get 25 mistake-free trades in a row, you will have earned the right of passage to actually begin trading real money. It's all in the success guide. There's a magic about the 25 mistake-free trades. Because if you can do it 25 times without a mistake in a row, it becomes a part of you. It becomes a reflex. It's not something you have to think about anymore. It's what it takes to become professional. Obviously, you want to continue to learn and explore the strategy. Everything I teach you in this training is going to put you on a higher level, but it's really just the tip of the iceberg. I've been using the counterpunch for a long time, and I'm still learning from it. It's a very powerful strategy, and you can learn so much. But you have to give yourself the chance to learn, and that can only come from time, experience, practice. This is not a short-term endeavor. This is a way of trading. And if you can learn this way of trading, it will grow with you. And that's good news because markets change. But the Counterpunch Express will continue to adapt and work as long as markets continue to move. Master its principles and you will discover a whole new way of trading that will serve you well for the rest of your life. Of course, we have to take a moment to point out the obvious. Trading is risky. The Counterpunch Express training materials is being presented for educational purposes only. While we have a strong opinion that you can and will succeed if you follow the training, there can be no guarantees. Please review the full risk disclosure on the owner's website and understand the very real risks involved with live trading. All right, let's take a moment to talk about the spirit and overall strategy of the Counterpunch Express. It's the sum total of many years of experience. I've been trading since the early 90s. I've developed numerous strategies. I've hosted and moderated a live trade room and training room for nearly a decade. The Counterpunch Express and the Counterpunch Trader in full is the sum total of all that experience. It's all about price action. No matter what indicators we talk about, no matter how we interpret the charts, the trades on the charts, everything is about price action. Price action is always king. You can always learn more about price action. Do your best to pay attention and you'll start to recognize patterns that repeat themselves. These are tradable patterns. This is how we put the odds on our side. There are 10 key principles to the Counterpunch Express. We're going to go over that quickly and then we're going to jump right into the training. So here are the 10 principles. Identify and take advantage of market exhaustion points. There are big exhaustion points. These are going to create big counter trend and reversal trades and some breakout trades. And then there are the smaller exhaustion points, which are going to give us trending trades, continuation trades, breakouts, and even some reversal trades. Principle two, trade with the higher time frame, fast trend. Hopefully a lot of you have the free chop indicator this is discussed in the training. Doesn't matter if you have it or not. You just got it with the Counterpunch Express, and I'll teach it to you in a subsequent video. Principle three, trade with momentum. This should be obvious, but how do we do it? You're going to learn this also. Principle four, everything we do is about confirmation. We want to put the proper amount of confirmation on our side. Sufficient confirmation, not too much not too little, just the right amount. Remember, we're not seeking to win 100% of the time. That would never work. But we are seeking to put the odds in our favor on every trade, and we do this with the right amount of confirmation. Principle five, well, put the odds in your favor on every trade. This should be a no-brainer, but this is the difference between running a trading business and just being a gambler. Let's face it, the casinos, are they gambling really? Or are they running a business? Their customers, their clients that they make money off of, those are the gamblers. 
the casino has the odds in their favor, they're going to make money. Follow the plan with discipline. Needless to say, trying to be a trader, being a person, trying to be a trader doesn't work. People are not wired to be good traders. Our instinct for survival will always get in the way. We have to rise above that. We have to transform ourselves and become a different kind of animal. It's called a trader. You can do it. It takes discipline. But when you become a trader, a real trader, discipline is just like riding a bike. You just never forget it and you just do it all the time. You have to get there though. Allow yourself to evolve to that point by following all these best practices. Trade with proper risk management. We talked about the 2% rule. We're typically going to apply that to the average losing trade. So if you're trading a trade plan, hopefully you would have followed our advice and done your back test. You're going to have some statistics regarding that trade plan. You'll be able to identify the size of the average losing trade. Apply your 2% rule to that number. Okay, so if the average losing trade is $150, you need to have sufficient capital to be able to take that trade so that $150 represents 2%. All right, you'll see many examples. We're going to talk about this. We cover this all the time in the live trade room. Allow this to be the first introduction to this principle. It's very important for success. We just talked about position size. There's also the proper risk while you're in each trade, how you manage the risk of your trade as the trade develops. This is another principle to proper risk management. Of course, your risk exposure to the market itself. We want to try to get our trading done with as little risk exposure as possible and then let our accounts grow. As our equity grows, we just increase our position size per the 2% rule. We do not have to take on additional risk exposure to the market to make more money. In fact, the opposite usually happens. So we have to find the proper amount of risk exposure to the market. The trade plans are going to tell you start time, stop time, the goals that we want to achieve each session, and then we move on. Principle eight, use what we call the power of quitting. This actually empowers you to quit trading for a session. It's another tool that we have that helps limit our risk exposure to the market. Quite simply, the power of quitting is a way for us to take what the market wants to give us instead of imposing what we want from the market. Do you think the market cares what you want? The market doesn't care about anything. However, if we change our way of thinking, we can take what the market wants to give us on any given session and then quit. Some days it might be more, some days it might be less. That's how trading works. It's the end result of your trade plan over time that grows your equity. So bear that in mind. Usually the power of quitting is that you have to get a winning trade and be positive, and then you're done. It might be the first trade. It might be the third trade. If you have a losing trade, you have a break-even trade, you have a winning trade, you're positive, you quit. There are obviously different ways to use the power of quitting, and there are different power of quitting formulas. You can team it up with a certain quantity of trades. So if you don't hit your goals, but you've traded, I don't know, five times, you quit for the session. Or you can have a hard stopping time. You have 45 minutes to hit your power of quitting, otherwise you're done. There are many ways to use it. The important thing is it's a principle that's necessary for ongoing success and it needs to be incorporated into the trade plan, into your trade plan. Empower yourself to quit and you will empower yourself to grow equity and succeed at trading. Principle nine, earn the right of passage. We talked about this briefly in regards to the steps to success guide, but it's an important principle. As a CEO of your business, you should be thinking about how you're going to grow your trading business. And the best way to do it is by hard goals being reached. Set a goal. When you reach it, you earn the right of passage to the next progression in your business. So when you're just starting out, maybe you start out with $10,000 in trading capital. You're trading a single market, a single trade plan. What do you do when you've gone from $10,000 to $15,000 and you've added 50% growth. 
perhaps that is the trigger point that earns you the right of passage to the next step in your business development, whether you're starting to take profits, whether you add another contract, whether you add another market. Those are the three biggies. You don't want to grow too fast, but you should be thinking in the future hitting milestones that then earn you the right of passage to get to the next step in your trade business development. Again, these are themes that we go over all the time in the live trade room. It's a key principle to ongoing success. As you earn each right of passage, you will be gaining experience, you will be gaining skill, you will be becoming a real trader and a better trader. So allow yourself the time to do that and utilize this very important principle to earn the right of passage, to go to the next step, beginning with step one in the Steps to Success Guide. Principle 10, understand that this is not just a trade method, but it is a complete way of trading. There's a very simple metaphor. If you think of trading as a three-legged stool, this will help you tie everything together. A stool needs all three legs to be stable. The first leg is your trade method, the Counterpunch Express. The second leg is money management and risk management, the proper risk exposure to the market, the proper position sizing, and the proper way you manage each trade. That's the second leg. The third leg is the hardest, and that's trade psychology. Because if you can't be disciplined and trade the strategy and trade the plan and be the operator of your trade business, you'll fall back into just being someone trying to trade. You'll be a human being, and your own psychology will get in the way of your success. You will end up being your worst enemy. So pay attention to yourself. The best indicator you have is you. The things that you do are going to tell you everything you need to know about yourself, and it's going to tell you what you're going to get back from the markets if you trade live. So pay attention not to what you think, not to what you say. Pay attention to what you do, and you'll be able to then know what to work on next to improve and become a real trader. These are the 10 principles to successful trading. If you've taken the time to watch this entire video from start to finish, you just gained a lot of trader wisdom. You can find this in a lot of books from some of the best people. I tried to paraphrase it, give it to you in my own words, from my own experience. But in the end, it has to come from you. Make the commitment. Become a real trader. Become the operator of your trading business. Follow these principles, beginning with the first step in the Steps to Success Guide and a thorough learning and understanding of the Counterpunch Express. All right, let's jump into the real training. I'll see you on the next video.